So what did you kind of see in the Hogan's and the Warriors and this thing? You're like, man, I got to bring them to Memphis. I got to hone, hone their skills. I'm going to, you know, put them on TV and, and, you know, try to make some money with these guys. I saw something in Hogan, uh, much, much more than him just being a big man. Uh, he couldn't make an interview. I worked downstairs in my basement uh, hours and hours. Uh, and uh, my cameramen and sound people would laugh because I'd be posing, and of course I don't look anything like Hogan, <laughs> but I'd be posing and where he would, I was behind the camera, and, and you know, he would mimic it and, and ended up getting it down pretty darn good. Uh, I carried him to Tupelo, and he was a great athlete, and he about killed me when I was trying to teach him to do the leg drop where it looked effective. And, uh, you know, they were some great times for me when when he was in New York and drawing all that money. Uh, it was a great feeling of satisfaction. Man, it's like the, the ultimate satisfaction. You see something in somebody that maybe somebody uh, that nobody else really sees and they become something. And obviously with the Hulk show, you saw something like the charisma, like you said, that undeniable attraction, whatever it is with the Hulkster. And he, you know, became the biggest star ever in the history of the wrestling business. It's pretty crazy that he starts with you, you help train him along. And like you said, it's definitely satisfaction. 